This is so pointless. <laughs> Excuse me. I am so sorry for the farty, smelly trumpins. I am Alejandro. I am here to tell you all about the Ayoweenins. My English is not so good. But how you say? Teregon a beso mescari shit going down, motherfuckers. So you will all be looking at the filmings of the Luke Steers. Miserable Michael Sayowenins. Alejandro, sweetie? What is it? The line is, there's going to be some scary stuff going down, so ask your mothers and fathers if you can watch. Is what he said? Is not what you said. Excuse me. Oh, for Christ's sake. Roll VT. On the spookiest night of the year, one small, ordinary suburban town will come face to face with a creature so terrifying that its inhabitants will never feel the same way about anything ever again. Behind these doors, happy people await the next playful knock, never realizing that their offers of candy will do nothing to satiate its hunger. For this monster desires only one treat on this Halloween night. Here it comes now. Moving slowly, but with purpose towards its unwitting victims who don't realize that their carefree days are soon to end for like a parasite this leech will feast upon their very spirit and consume the joy from their lives too late it's already here Oh Louise, that will be the little scamps now. But have I got enough treats? You've got enough to feed the entire town for a year. Do you know how much all this stuff cost? You are aware that I'm still unemployed, right? There is the popcorn, mini eggs, Jolly Ranchers, Skittles, chocolate buttons, lollipops, Haribo, Starburst, mini Mars bars, Red M&M's, blue M&M's, peanut M&M's. Teresa, if you don't answer the door they'll have smashed the bloody house up. Oh yes. The door. I get so excited for Halloween. Who is it? Trick or treat. Come in. I'm already in. Oh, hello. Don't you just look adorable in your little costume? I had a mask. But it was making my face sweat so I took it off. It was only cheap plastic tat anyway, so it didn't look very realistic. Your window's broken by the way. How did that happen? Well, when you didn't answer the door I assumed that the doorbell was broken, and so I took it apart to see. I thought that if I threw a rock at the mechanism, it might work, so I did, and it missed and went through the window. You should probably get it fixed because the crime rate around here is a bloody disgrace. What's your name little boy? I'm Michael, I live on the next street. Your house smells funny. Like a dog had a wee in it, but you never cleaned it up. Michael? Not? Not Michael Smith? Yeah. That's right. Oh my good God. I've heard about you. 
Well anyway Michael, take whatever candy you want and go. In fact take it all. I don't like candy. Or Halloween. It's just a waste of time. But Halloween is such a happy, fun time. Surely you don't mean that Michael? My dad used to say it's just another scam designed by the corporate businesses to squeeze every last bit of money from the working man. And what happens to all the crap you buy, once that one day is over, and we are finished with it? Sure, some of it can be recycled but the vast majority ends up in landfill, and from there into our soils, our rivers and our oceans. Did you know that marine turtles feed on plastic bags because they float in the ocean like jellyfish? Albatrosses, those huge ocean-going birds, are bringing bellyfuls of plastic instead of squid back to their nests to feed their chicks. The chicks can't digest the plastic, so they die of starvation. No Michael. I didn't know that. Those poor little chicks and marine turtles. Well, that's what Dad used to say, but now he's shacked up with some young Thai bird in Bangkok, or so Mum says, so I don't know whether he's as bothered about the environment as he used to be. But what about all the lovely costumes you see? The little boys and girls dressed as red Indians, or with their big Mexican sombreros and hilarious mustaches. You must like that? Well, I guess they're all right. If you're into appropriating the culture of other races, once a year for a laugh. I never looked at it like that. I saw one kid out tonight, fully blacked up. He told me he'd come as Kanye West, so I punched him in the face and reported him to the police. But what about the tradition? The rich history of Halloween? Well, this guy I saw on the History Channel said that in the pagan times, Halloween would have included many sacrifices to the Celtic gods of death, with both animals and humans, including children, being thrown into huge fire pits as offerings. So, if you're cool with child abuse and animal cruelty, then crack on. Listening to you has really opened my eyes, Michael. I've been so blind to all of the terrible things associated with Halloween. I'll never celebrate Halloween again. Hey lady. Whatever. It's up to you. I'm just surprised I live on a street with so many racists, child abusing, environment Nazis is all. What? Anyway, I have to go. Mum thinks I'm out with friends. But the truth is they're not really my friends. They're just so juvenile. Acting around like bloody children, all the time. I ditched them, and decided I'd be better off on my own. Well anyway lady. Thanks for the chat. It was very interesting Michael. And you know, if you ever did want to talk to anyone, oh you know, about your dad, or things at home. You could always come see me again. Really? No one's ever asked me to come back before. They usually move house or take out the restraining order against my mum. Well, I'm asking you back. Well then, okay I will. On one condition. Anything. Could you give the place a proper bloody clean? because the smell of stale dog piss is making my stomach turn. What the hell? I'll be off then. And so the creature has quenched its need for joy, and slopes off, its belly full, yet always looking, looking, looking for its next prey. So if you hear that childlike knock, as the darkness falls on Hallow's Eve, before you answer, stop. Think. Does my house smell of dog piss? Until next time, good night.
Sleep tight. <laughs>